Hello, beautiful beings. Happy Thursday or whenever you're watching this. These messages are always timeless. So whenever you come across them, if you've come across them, you're attuned, your energetic resonance is matching with this. Like everything's an algorithm. This is what I love about life when we truly step into our divinity and understand that, that everything is an algorithm. Everything around us, every synchronicity is an algorithm. Every sign is an algorithm. Everything's like attuned to us where our vibrational frequency is at. And I used to like laugh about, you know, when you bring situations into your life that maybe were not of the highest good, it's like that's where you're attuned to in that place. So look within instead of blaming other people, look within and see what's going on with inside you. I just wanted to come on. It's the lunar eclipse at the wee hours of tomorrow morning in Calgary, Alberta, where I am. How are you feeling? It is like time of huge shifts. This is from what I've read, the longest lunar eclipse that we've had in almost 600 years. So it's freaking potent. This lunar eclipse is going to be life-changing. We're like every month in the last 18 months has been life-changing and we've been just like attuning higher and higher and like shifts all the time. My cat's, my cat's saying hello, it's funny. Um, but yeah, it's, own like feel into these feelings i don't know how you've been feeling recently i've had moments of triggers i've had moments of anxiety where i'm just like what's going on and i had a huge realization within myself today that i worked through and it was like wow as soon as i realized what was going on in my being what was trying to come out and be released and spoken about to myself and my higher self that anxiety was like released. It was transcended. It was a wound that I thought I'd got through already, but they sometimes take time and they keep coming up through relationships being mirrored back to us. My cat is going haywire. Can you hear her? Willow, what are you doing? <laughs> but so funny. So, and this full moon in Taurus, um, there's going to be major relationship changes and expansions. There's going to be tower moments. So hold on to your energy, allow what's happening to happen. Don't question it. Don't overthink it. What I will remind you is that you are always, you always have the choice in every moment and how you're going to react to a situation. And this is what's going to determine the timeline that you're lining up with. So are you reacting out of old patterns? Are you reacting out of fear? Are you reacting out of love, compassion, reverence, and hope for yourself? What assumptions are you making within your mind? that are heading in, that have attracted this in and that are heading, you know, out of your vibrational essence. Where are you aligning to? What are you attuned to? Ask yourself that. I have a hair standing up on top of my head. It looks funny. I have an antenna, but ask yourself those questions. Dig deep. Do not be afraid to ask yourself the questions. Instead of playing a victim, how can you look within you and see what needs to be done? Instead of pointing our fingers at other people, you know, it's important to set our boundaries with other people, our energetic and spiritual and all our boundaries, but we still need to do the work within, right? Like it's so important. I, and you know, I've been on my journey for a long time and I still am doing work daily. It's never, you're never fully finished the work unless you're Jesus or Buddha or somebody like that, who were those enlightened beings a hundred percent. We're always going to have work to do. Some but the work won't seem as muddy and as painful as we get to a place of balance within our life and bringing ourselves back into that point of attraction, back into that alignment with source. We realize how simple and how simplistic it actually is when we pull out of our logical mind, out of our ego and come back into our soul, our higher self. It's freaking beautiful. Um, tomorrow night, so Friday, my time, we're doing a full moon healing circle. This full moon is not about setting any type of intentions. It's important just to let flow what's going to come. The intentions will be set for you, whether you like it or not, so allow. So if anybody's interested in joining that, there's a few spots left for that. The new moon circle was amazing, so this one's going to be amazing too. We had such an amazing, like such a powerful collective group. The more of us there are, the more powerful the collective is, and we can send more love light out to everybody around us. Um, the 555 Portal Shifting Consciousness, my eight-week course, deep dive course. We meet an hour a week. I'm on week six this week with my students and my friends that I make over these eight weeks, and we are just digging deep, and it's beautiful. So if you're interested in jumping on the bandwagon for the next one, we're going to start mid to late January. I haven't set a date yet. 
but keep your eye open for pre-registration starting in the next couple weeks. Um, red, early bird registration will be obviously a better deal than if you wait till the last minute. So if you're interested in grabbing a spot, let me know and I can send the information off to you when I have it in the next couple weeks. I'll put you on my mailing list so that I can send it. I have a list of people that are interested in the pre-registration. So let me add you to that list if you're interested. I'm gonna pull a card. Keep grounded and steadfast in these machines. I just got cut off there. But we're gonna pull a card and ask Spirit for some guidance. What do we need to see? And it is, I have the power. Just like I was talking about, it's all in you and your perception. It's all in your reactions and it's all in, it's, it's just perception. It's all your perception. Everything is a mirror. Everything is a mirror for your mind, your heart, your energy everything and when we realize that and realize we're all one your life will change that's higher consciousness right there so it says i am the master of my life and perfectly at one with the universe i keep my thoughts pure and i do not engage in the heaviness of destructive emotions i rise above doubts i believe in myself and i know that with god universe source i can do anything i draw upon this new power within me I go through this growing phase with ease. And this is what we're all in. See, with the sword, we're all growing. We're all ascending. We're all in this space where it's like, we live in such a pivotal time right now to have all this information at our fingertips, to be able to connect with people across the globe effortlessly. Like, how cool is that? This is the time of our own algorithms. Just don't worry about things anymore. Release the fear and surrender. And I know that's easier said than done. Allow the emotions to come through. Don't hold on to them. Allow them to release from your system so the beauty of your life can bloom with the wake, with the release of them. Make space for more light. Anyway, I love you. I'm gonna go jam soon. Have a great evening. If you're interested in the full moon circle tomorrow, drop a comment below and I can share the link or send me a DM. I'll send you the link. Love you.